No one is injured after a camper caught fire on Interstate 90 near West Salem. The West Salem Fire Department told News 8 that the fire started near the 10 mile marker on Interstate 90 westbound. When the department arrived, the trailer was fully engulfed in flames. Wisconsin State Patrol says the fire was put out quickly and had a minimal effect on traffic in the area. Photos show significant damage to the back half of the camper. A Sparta man and his 12 year old passenger are injured after a motorcycle deer crash in Vernon County. According to a report, Russell McElroy and his daughter were riding his motorcycle when a deer jumped into the road. He braked but wasn't able to stop in time and hit the deer. He was wearing riding gear with no helmet while his daughter was wearing a helmet and riding gear. The sheriff's office said both had significant injuries and were taken to Gunderson Health in La Crosse. And up in Alma, a celebration of all things medieval. Castle Rock Museum invited the community for its annual Fire in the Shire event. Visitors got the chance to watch a fire breathing and sword swallowing performance. There were also fighting demonstrations in front of the museum. Director Bill Walcott says performers study fencing manuals from the Middle Ages and bring that fighting knowledge to today. It's just a thrill to have events like this where we have hundreds of people from all over the area coming and having a fun time at the museum and learning a little about history in the process. There was also dancing, music, and even a, even a hunt for the Holy Grail. This is Castle Rock Museum's biggest event of the year. If you missed out and would like to learn more about ancient history, the museum is open on weekend afternoons all summer long. The Upper Mississippi River National Wildlife and Fish Refuge swore in some furry friends as ambassadors. The Bark Ranger program has begun. B-A-R-K stands for Bag Your Pet Waste, Always Leash Your Pet, Respect Wildlife, and Know Where to Go. Dogs were sworn in with a paw print in Bryce Prairie. They got their very own bandana and certificate. One of the biggest things is that, of course, a wildlife refuge were here for, to protect the wildlife, but also for the public. So this is a public resource. We invite everyone to enjoy it, uh, but we also have to remember that it is for the wildlife. This program is part of the Healthy People, Healthy Parks initiative. Its goal is to teach people how to enjoy national parks with your pet. If you want your dog to be a bark ranger, just visit the La Crosse District Visitor Center. And tonight at the Black Horse Bar and Grill in Winona, the Gate City Dixieland Jazz Band will be performing. The concert begins at 5 p.m. It is free of charge, but donations are welcome. They will be playing Dixieland and other classic jazz favorites. This eight-member band has been playing together since 1978. And here's a check on your overall planner here for today. Mixed clouds and sunshine. Temperatures in the 60s at 7, followed by the 70s at 9. Upper 70s at 11 with a slight chance of a drizzle. And then we're in the 80s here as we head into the afternoon with mixed clouds and sunshine there. A little bit hazy and smoky thanks to the Canadian wildfires to our north, causing those air quality alerts, which are in effect until 8 o'clock this morning. Now tomorrow, a slight chance of a shower or storm possible. Otherwise, expect quiet conditions through the rest of this week with highs into the 80s. Maybe another chance of storms on Saturday, perhaps. Lows in the 50s and 60s, but uh, overall, I would say uh, enjoy it here. Looks like uh, we got several mm -hmm. days of some pretty dry weather. A couple of days we could see some rain chances, but you know, we're not talking about a washout by any means. No, and I've been enjoying this heat, and I yeah. think everyone has oh, been. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. <laughs> yep. And thank you for watching News 8 Now. Don't forget to keep up with the news of the day on news8000.com. We will have the latest updates to today's top stories on News 8 Now at noon. Have a great morning, everyone, and thank you for watching News 8.